Right, on the news, this is, and this came from the, I read it in Thai newspaper, but it came from the BBC as well. Backpacker finds mobile phone and goes to jail. I'm going, yeah, 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 here we go. Right now, a British backpacker who was arrested and put into prison in Thailand for picking up a mobile phone he found on the floor, he's now gone back to England because this story is about four weeks old, but right. he did serve 10 years. Chris Dodd, a 29-year-old, <laughs> this is where it goes, a little downhill, I think. Not the name. You sort of took, took the, the punchline out of the joke when you said that. Yeah, well, okay. He's a 29-year-old tattoo artist. <laughs> so he's got to be a little bit... I mean, great. I love tats and I love the people that do it, but it's you're not really, everyday work. You're really work. trying to be correct today, aren't you? But no, <laughs> I think I'd, I want a tattoo, but I'm getting so old now, my skin's too all floppy. Anyway, he came from Poole. There's another negative thing. Spent 10 days in Thai prison accused of theft. So he, he comes out of Chiang Mai Airport, picks up a phone. Well, I'll, I'll go through the thing. He said that he picked up the phone to try to find its owner, as you do, and in doing so, he moved it to a different location, which is considered theft under Thai law. Mr. Dodd was released on bail after family and friends raised £20,000. That's over a million baht. Mr. Dodd said that he found the phone just as he was about to get into the taxi after arriving at Chiang Mai Airport. He looked around to see if he could spot someone or someone could spot him, I would have said, who may have dropped it, but couldn't see anyone. So he decided to take it, uh, steal, take it with him to the hostel, hostel, uh, to try to trace the owner from there. Soon after arriving at the hotel, Mr. Dodd was arrested after police had seen him on CCTV picking it up. Now, was it planted? How did they know? Oh, well, they saw it on CCTV, so they're looking at everything. So they mm -hmm. see a guy picking it up. Now, I have asked a couple of ties is this correct law? And they said, yes. If you find a phone, you're supposed to hand it to a policeman. Now, he said, I was stripped... <laughs> this is all over a phone. I was stripped naked. I'm sure he talked like that. I was stripped naked, sent in, given a blanket. We need to get Mrs. Bail on here, right? Gail. Whose phone was it? Well, he doesn't know, does it? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know one fine. Probably the policeman's at the end of the day. Well, they, they didn't say. The next thing you know, I'm being taken into the cells where they house massive amounts of people. Nobody spoke English. It was really intimidating. You just have to fight for a space on the floor well, and you have, have people's been legs naked, all over you. Being, being na naked with a blanket full of other guys. Yeah, that must have been a bit of intimidating. But he just picked... Found, he had faced a five-year prison term. This is from the BBC. Five-year prison term if convicted. But the charges against him were eventually waived and he could return home to the UK. I guess that had something to do with the £20,000. Uh, waived? Or so it doesn't matter. Waived yeah. always means that like, you're guilty but want to waive it, doesn't it? Not let off. It's like let off, isn't it? It's not like we're not, we found you not guilty. When you waive, you waive uh, real rights, don't you? Uh, the yeah, word it's waive. Just I mean, if you've broken the law, you've broken the law. But... Yeah, but five years of finding a mobile phone? You can smash someone over the head in Thailand and get less years. No, I agree. I think the, the same. Now, if you do it with a mobile phone, you get five years. And if it's somebody else, someone's important, it's mobile phone, you probably get a death sentence. Yeah. Speaking to the BBC, Mr. Dodd said that the lawyer urged him to leave Thailand immediately after the prosecution dropped the case three days ago. His father, whose name is also Dodd, Mike Dodd, added, "Over there, money talks, but yes, it's also having a really good lawyer." The money raised enabled us to get a really good lawyer. They were fantastic and he got out. I reckon that's a... I don't know. What do you not know? All right. I reckon the guy stole it. I think he's it it been a bit of a chance there. There's no question. Right. You know, not like I need to move to a different location. Then again, the other side of the story, he could get, wow, I found a phone. And he's just landed. So I've got to get taxes. All right, I'll put that on the phone. And I'll find out later... Whose it is, right? He could be totally innocent, couldn't he? Could be. <laughs> but there is that side, isn't there? Well, if you found a phone, and I'm not saying goody-goody two-shoes me, I would not give it to the first person of authority I saw. I would, A, try to ring the owner. I know, how well, can you but, do but, that? But you... Oh, yeah, with my other phone. But how well, would you, how know do you know the do number? It? I know, it's a good point. Uh, who'd call? Uh, and this is I'd wonder if he'd go well, to he address... Said, he said he looked, to, looked, looked to, to, at the phone to see if he could find... Well, he maybe no, he didn't have fingerprints or anything, right? 
you know, well, like you couldn't I think open some the phone. Some people actually put stickers on it. Yeah, they, they put a sticker on the back of their phone if you find this. Da, 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 da. Like a dog. Yeah, and also you can put on the on the on the on your screen. So if you press it and it opens up, you can't access it to the phone, but you but can have some, a message on it. Yeah, so that's it says, a good one. Contact here. So maybe that is something he he, he did. Uh, I'm going to sit on the fence on this one. Personally, if it was me, uh, and, and uh, I mean, if. If I was getting in a taxi and I found this phone, I'd probably go up to security or whatever it is, because they're, they're all over the place at the airport, and hand it to them and just go, yeah? Because... <laughs> yeah, what happens if... OK, what happens if you're in the back of a cab and he takes you from Chiang Mai uh, airport to a hotel? You leave your phone in the cab, he gets out, you get out, that phone's moved. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that's what you said. Once you... So... If you're in a cab, is that the location of the missing phone? In other words, if a taxi driver finds a phone in the back of his car, he mustn't go anywhere at that moment in time no, until no, he no, finds no, where well, the owner no, is. No, but what they were saying is you hand in. It doesn't mean you stand there and call, call the police, can you come to me, I'm standing here, can okay. you take the phone? No, but you'd, you'd hand it into a police station. I would, say, I would hand it into lost property or something like that. Because to be honest with a phone, as much as, oh, a new phone, yeah, you've got to hack into one. that, yeah. Well, well, that's clearly illegal. Yeah. Well, I get that. But I mean, and, and one other thing before we, we move on is that <laughs> the CCTV, right? So, so there's two ways of picking up a phone, right? So you're walking along, you've got your luggage and all that. And then, you can, oh. oh, taxi, taxi. And, and you go. Or there's the, the you're walking along, you're. And then you get into a car. See what I mean? It's two yeah. ways to pick up a phone. And maybe, well, give the police their due, maybe that's what they saw. And you've been. But five years imprisonment no, for picking that's... up a phone, <laughs> BBC. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the, if, if he doesn't hand it in, it's called theft. Yeah. So whatever that yeah, it's what a that mobile phone. So five, what? Yeah, five years. No, I'm, I, I, you that, could steal that on that forget, basis. What, 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 five weeks in prison this, for this, stealing this is a bank. Journalism, they'll say you could be jailed up to yeah. five years. So it's not saying you're going to get five years. I think. I think. It's okay, okay, my other question is the twenty thousand pounds. Do you think that went for a lawyer or to the police? Uh, it comes to the lawyer, and the lawyer can do his do his magic. Yeah, yeah he takes off his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, 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 I don't know. I mean. I, I must admit, strange story. Twenty thousand of million to a lawyer to go and to represent you all of that. I mean, geez, well, this comes back to the other discussion we had about hospital bills. Well, this we're going to do the hospital yeah, bills. But I mean, but it's, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of money to to be represented. But good yeah. stuff, interesting. Oh, very interesting. interesting yeah. Yeah, and 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 uh, whoever you are, Chris Dodd. Listen, if you're watching, which you probably won't be, but if you are, you know, you can see what side we're talking about, and write to us, and we'll get you on the telephone, and you can explain it all. Okay. Yeah.